Ludacris. Ludacris Bridges can do it all. He's a three-time Grammy winner, actor, and record executive. And he's the man behind the awesome children's series, my kids love it, Karma's World. Inspired by his eldest daughter, Karma, the show follows a talented young woman who uses music and smarts to solve any problem that comes her way. Chris. Yeah. What's happening? I don't know. I'm off three hours of sleep, but three I am amped sleep? up. I've been working too hard because we've been promoting this season three and all the toys that are in the store. So I mean, you hear it in my voice right now. That's why I'm wearing the sunglasses, by the way. <laughs> First of all, you look great. FAO Schwartz is right there. Yes. It was filled with dolls yesterday. It's still filled with dolls. They're going to be in there as long as people keep buying them. So it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Trust awesome me. Awesome. And is you that? got to share that with your daughter. <laughs> on her birthday. What yes. was that moment like for you guys? Because this was 13 years in the making. 13 years in the making. My daughter just turned 21, believe it or not. Oh what gosh. better gift can you get on your 21st birthday Wait, than to have... Wait, did you go out last night? No, no, no. We, listen, we didn't go out last night. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Not until she's 30-something will we do that. She can't go anywhere. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, we didn't go out. Yeah. We, we chill. Um, you know, I love that it took time and that you said, you know what? Some things that are worth it you yeah. have to wait for her. And it was a good lesson for her, right? Absolutely. So this, like you said, 13 years in the making, this is a perfect testament to making sure you never quit and, you know, just your dreams come true when you stick with certain things. And I like to say you fail better and better every time. So we went through a roller coaster ride over a decade of just trying to get this right. And I think that's why people love this show so much that's currently on Netflix yes. is because it's based off real experiences that she went through in her life. Wow. And so we're just so happy that it's being received so well and just this world and universe is expanding bigger than I could have ever imagined. But being 13 years, I'm glad because <laughs> yeah. I worked so hard on it. So now it's just, it's, it, it's a beautiful thing. I love what you said about failure. Like, I think it's so important to teach our kids that it's okay to fail. Did you, yeah. like, and you say you fail better. How so? Like, what, how, what has taught you to be better? That there's, there's so many phases that we went through with the animation, with all of the different characters, with how the script should go, with all of the music that's on, that, that's on the streaming services right now. Um, you know, we went through a roller coaster ride with going through different things, and we, we failed. So we, like, there was phase one, there was phase two, there was phase three. Yeah. And we just yeah. never gave up. And that's, that is, amazing. that's what I mean when you say... The lessons learned in every episode, there is a lesson to be learned. And it opens up dialogue between parents and children, yeah. which is amazing because that's the way you can really teach your kids about what goes on in the world of today. And we need more positivity. Totally. And we need to talk to our kids more about what is going on because there's a lot of negativity out there. Totally. So that's what For this sure. show is all about. Totally. And you have four daughters. Four. Yes, say it again. Oh. <laughs> By the way, it's always like the chill dad. Look at this. Who's like the worst, like when you bring My a date home for the first time. Hey, 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 I no. feel like you no. are like, I feel like you are the scariest <laughs> one out of the bunch. Yeah, but it's also why I have three hours of sleep. You see, y'all saw that picture. Yes. Having four daughters, you're never going to get any sleep. Um, can never. we also just say hi to your beautiful mom, Roberta? Yes, She's here. she is here today. So, there she is. Oh. Look at her. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Well, we're doing great. You must be so proud of him. Every day. Oh, what has your mom <laughs> taught you? Oh, man, she used to teach me to write my goals down oh. every single year about what it was that I wanted to accomplish. And at the end of the year, she'd give me like $10 for each goal that I, uh, that I, that I accomplished. And the crazy thing about that is you have to have a compass in life of knowing where you're going. Otherwise, you're just kind of just floating, right? For so sure. if it was not for my mother, then this show would not be as successful as it is. And I would, I, you never know. Like, her teaching me not to give up and set my goals yes. is exactly what wow. this is about. Wait, goal orienting. Roberta, that's great parenting advice, mm -hmm. right? Like, to, to own what you want to do and not now look at you. It is, you but just... was $10 enough for each goal? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I try to think about I'm that. I'm looking at your diamonds. You seem to be doing just fine. <laughs> oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I'm going to pay you, her back, by the way. We have to just say that you just graduated this summer. You, you said... Luda, Luda cum laude. <laughs> I, need, I need to go in that program, okay, from Georgia State. <laughs> you got your honorary degree. How meaningful was that for you? Man, it, listen, it means the world to me because my whole family was there to, to watch that. So, again, everything, I'm just trying to set an example for my children and, you know, just pave the way for the new generation. It's all about just legacy at this point for me, and I, I'm yeah. just, I'm very... I'm very humbled and just very thankful for yeah. all of well, the love that we see. Part of your legacy is your music. 
we've been t talking and listening to it. Yes. And we thought, you know what? Let's marry your music with your children's book. Will you wrap uh, a couple of the pages for us? Uh, no problem. <laughs> so let's, Daddy and me and the rhyme to be. So this is the, the dad and karma kind of rapping together. So one says the line, the other one finishes. So I can be a daughter if you need. <laughs> you, you may take that book and be the daughter. <laughs> so whenever we bake brownies, I'm the one who stirs the batter. And I'm the one who has to clean whenever the batter splatters. Whenever we ride bikes, he catches me if I fall. You're my car star. I'm always there when you call. Oh. Whenever we play pretend, I'm a dragon who roars. You know that dragon's breath will make a pirate go, yah! <laughs> yeah. It's Stream different. that on Spotify. <laughs> it's going to be the number one hit of the summer. Yeah, Chris, man. I know y'all are you're so proud of your girls. Thank you so I much. Am. And by the way, my girls love this program. So thank you for putting it out there. No, I greatly appreciate it. I think I can make an announcement here what? because we just said that, that because of the success of the show, there is now a season four no. coming soon. Yes. It's the first time I've said it. Awesome. Yes. That's great news. It's great news, but if nobody's seen season one, two, or three, they better go on Netflix and watch it right now. Yes. <laughs> exactly. It. It's really positive. As you said, it's putting good, yes. good messages out there in the world. Season three of Karma's World is streaming season one, two on Netflix right now. And check out Daddy and Me in the Rhyme to Be. Head to today.com slash shop.